I'm gonna use these scraps that I found. Uh, I stole this from my dad's garage. I believe it's red oak, but I don't know because what am I, a wood expert? But uh, I used some of this to make the newel post cap that's in the house right now. And I really like the way it turned out. So if it, this turns out as good as that, then we'll be okay. Okay, so I'm going to start trying to cut a chamfer out on this thing. I needed to cut a good amount of material off to make the, uh, the chamfer that I want. But the table saw and the radial arm saw was a little dangerous. So I decided to try just the chamfer bit on the router table. And it turns out that that did not work out the way I wanted to. So I had to rethink it. So that's not nearly Why are you talking like that? that I'm trying to remove in order you sound to like what I'm looking a chipmunk. for. It looks good, but it's not what I'm trying to do. I Nobody need likes more chipmunks. Material taken off there. So I think I'm going to have to go to the table saw after yeah. all. Yeah, you do that. Go to the table saw after all. That's a good idea. So this is really sketchy. This little piece of material. Some people do it all the time. They have nicer table saws than me, but I got a rickety old job site saw. And this one little handle, I don't want to cut my knuckles off. So it started to move, and I said, no, thank you. Actually, I said, no, sir, I don't like it. You, you know what that means. It's time for another episode of everyone's favorite show, Jig Time. On today's episode, we're going to try to not cut our fingers off on the table saw. We're going to be making something out of wood to keep our fingers clear. Featuring a special guest appearance by Mario Lopez and Vanna White, stars of the new A&E documentary, Killing Sajak. Today's episode is brought to you by Trees. Like to breathe? Try Trees. And Ovaltine. See what brown liquid can do for you. Ovaltine. Also, UPS. Hey, don't let Ovaltine use that slogan. UPS. If you would like to be a contestant on Jig Time, use all of your fingers and mail a self-addressed stamped envelope to Jig Time, care of Wood Doofus Studios, Walla Walla, Washington, 80024. Running out of things to say while we watch Jig Time. Four snow bits. Gonna drill a hole. Use four snow bits. Wing nuts. Who doesn't like wing nuts? All right, it's showtime. Here we go. Cut this without cutting my fingers off. Success! Thanks for watching Jig Time. I just burped into the microphone. Okay, thanks for watching Jig Time. Now we're just going to route this up a little bit, just to round over the edges slightly. 
see what we got. We're joined today by Grayson. Say hi, Grayson. Hello. What do you think of the video so far, Grayson? It is very good, yeah. Oh, thank you for saying that. That's very kind of you. Uh, you think you could fit inside this blanket chest, Grayson? Uh, yeah. I think I will. All right. I think we'll put you in there the next time you misbehave. How do you like that? Yeah. All right, I'm just kidding. I would never put a child in a bent in a blanket chest just for misbehaving. You'd have to do something really bad. I keep digging myself in this hole. All right, so I'm putting some screws in this little piece of quarter inch that's uh, been used already during jig time. And uh, as you can see, I'm using it to prop the thing up so it doesn't so minimize the contact while I stain it and let it dry and then put a couple coats of poly on it afterwards. I didn't quite get it all on camera, but that's... What do you think about that, Grayson? Should I have got it on camera? Uh, wait, what? Well, as you can see, I didn't get my uh, staining or sanding on camera. I picked the piece of wood up and I held it above the screen. What do you think about that? I don't like that. I don't like that either, but I'm not going to do it again because that would be impossible to rewind time and restain it. Alright, this is taking a while. Alright, got the poly on, let it dry, and then you steel wool out of the shot again. Steel wool makes it nice and smooth, looking good now, ready to attach. So, we're going to use this triple jig. This is the third time you've seen this piece of quarter inch plywood in this video. And uh, apparently it's jig time again, but we won't make another jig time episode. This will just be a little abbreviated jig time where we screw a couple holes into the handle so we can transfer those holes onto the bench. So just eyeballing the mark up here, just, you know, close enough, open it up, get my little jig. So I'm going to keep it black? Keep what black? Inside. Yeah, I think we're going to keep the inside black. I still have a bunch of hinges and screws in there that I haven't cleaned up yet. But eventually I'll clean that up and I might actually take it upstairs. Jig time because you made a jig. Yeah, that's a good observation. I did call it jig time because I made a jig. I like I like what you're thinking there. Oh, well, looks like we're gonna line up the screws and shoot them right in there. I think I need to countersink those. I'm gonna go back and countersink those screws to make a better connection. Anyway, that's all she wrote. Thanks for watching.